So today I'm at the Centre Pompidou, which is the modern art museum here in Paris. And it's really, I've never actually been here. I've been to a lot of museums here. I've been to the Louvre and stuff, but actually the Centre Pompidou is one that I've always wanted to go see because it has a lot of modern art like Picasso and lots of other famous artists, which I will go see later. But it also has an amazing view. Check this out. You can see over all of Paris because the whole building is like made of glass. There's the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so now I'm in the permanent collection of the Centre Pompidou, which has a lot of modern art. So here is an Andy Warhol of Elizabeth Taylor. So I'm just gonna walk around a bit. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> that's really cool, actually. This is really cool, too. It's like a story. Hanging in the room. It looks like a cozy sofa to sit on. <laughs> Just want to jump on that or something. I wonder if they sell these at Ikea yet. So now I am in the section that probably you, many of you will recognize the paintings. Um, these are sort of the more famous paintings. So right now this is Miro. Really like his work actually. These paintings are really cool. It's really interesting just to see them up close. You can see all the different like textures and brush strokes. Oh, this is Salvador Dali. So here there's some more paintings by Miro and Picasso. So now I'm in the room with late Picasso works. So these are paintings that he painted just before his death. So his style really changed um, over the years. So these are actually all nudes. Um, he painted a lot of models, but of course very in an abstract way. These are great. As you go up really close, you can see all the, the brush strokes. And what the heck is this? This is really cool too. So just like installations. So that was really impressive. Um, I'm just going outside now on the terrace. There's this little viewpoint at the Centre Pompidou with of course more art sculptures. Wow. Awesome view. Okay, so I'm gonna go down, and actually the way to go up and down is these escalators are actually on the outside of the building. It's really cool. So let's go down. Oh, I don't want to go home. I just finished my visit at the Centre Pompidou, so if you are in Paris and you're into modern art, this is like one of the best places to go see it. They have a new collection at the top, which is always changing, and then their permanent collection has all the, you know, all the famous artists like Picasso, Degas, and like, or not Degas. <laughs> um, anyway, all the sort of modern art um, of that period. So, in, yeah, I love it here. And then outside, it's like a really cool square, so I'll go show you that. So there you can see like the escalator that you take up, so it's really cool. And then there's just like a big square in front where you can sit. And I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'll show you another really cool thing that's just around the corner here. It's quite windy, but this is where I'm gonna have my lunch. At the Dangali Fontaine, or Fontaine Dangali. And this is such a cute little fountain, I love it. So fun. So I'm having my lunch here at the square. 
This is such a great spot for people watching. Lots of activity. There's some school girls over there shaking things up. <laughs> so behind me is the Louvre and I'm gonna go there just to show you what it looks like. Um, just go check it out myself. Um, I'm not going to go in the museum, I've actually been in it before and it's not really my favorite museum. <laughs> it's just so huge that if you really want to see everything you can just go for like a couple hours. So it is really impressive, it is really pretty. I don't know if you can even hear me because um, it's super windy today. So many people. This is a gorgeous building though. I think this used to be the royal palace. Um, it was called Palais Royal, so back when there was kings, this is where they lived. Okay, so behind me you can see the pyramid now, um, and that's actually one of the entrances of the museum. So. One of the nicer places in Paris. It is very, very touristy, obviously, but that's okay. It is worth it. If you do decide to go to the Louvre, though, I definitely recommend that you book your ticket before. I think you can buy, I would check on their website because I think you can either buy the tickets online or you can book them through your hotel like a few days in advance. Okay, so now I'm going to walk into the Jardin Tuileries. This looks almost like the Lac de Triomphe, <laughs> a mini version of it. And that's cool. That's just the ceiling. It's actually pretty windy. I brought every day like a sweater and I carried it with me and it was every day so warm that I was always just lugging it around. So I thought today I'm not gonna bring a sweater and now it's actually cold and I want my jacket. <laughs> so and then here you have these perfectly manicured lawns <laughs> which you're not allowed to go on. So there's just these benches that you can sit on, but yeah, not allowed on this grass, which I think is just retarded, but I guess they want it to look perfect. And if all these tourists would be trampling around, I don't think it would look as nice. <laughs> okay, so here I'm at L'Opéra. So this is the opera house, which is beautiful. And it's just a big square, lots of traffic though. It's just a big roundabout. Okay, so I'm at Place Vendôme. I'm just kind of walking around. I have a few more hours to kill before I have to go back to the hotel and then to the train station. And it's just super expensive, like designer stores like Balenciaga, Dior. What I'm actually trying to find, and I think I won't find this here, is a little cheese store. Um, because on the train, I think I want to take some French cheese with me. So I think I'm actually going to go back to the Galerie Lafayette because it's just around the corner because I know that they have that gourmet stuff. I mean, it's going to be way more expensive there, but um, being like right in the center of town, I don't think I'm going to be able to find a little cheese store right next to stores that sell diamonds and <laughs> designer handbags. So um, I actually didn't want it. I really didn't want to get cheese there at the Galerie Lafayette. And then when I just turn around the corner there was an apple store so i just went on the internet quickly on yelp and tried to find a fromage key so and it said that there was supposed to be one on this street so it led me to this little street in cade it's called and it already looks like i could find something here there's some foie gras over there great so i found this door and it's freaking closed oh, this is so annoying so i just like an hour trying to find a cheese store and I have one more saved on my Google Maps on my phone so this cheese store had better be out of this freaking world <laughs> so I can't believe I found it Yay, I'm gonna get some cheese Okay, 
Okay, so that was definitely worth the trip. This is the Fromagerie Quatre Hommes, where it's at. Rue de Sèvres. And I got a big bag of cheese. So I brought about 30 euros worth of cheese and she vacuum packed it. So I'm actually back at the hotel and I'm just about to head to the train station to go home. So I really hope you guys enjoyed these Paris vlogs. If you missed any of them, make sure to click in the down bar. I'll have all the previous days if you want to look back on any of the other stuff I've done in Paris. I absolutely love my trip here. I love Paris. This is like my third time here and it definitely won't be the last. So thank you so, so much for watching and um, yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys have a chance to go visit Paris one day also. It's a beautiful place. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.